Arizona's second execution in less than a month is scheduled to take place in just a few hours. Frank Atwood was sentenced to death for the 1984 kidnapping and murder of eight-year-old Vicki Lynn Hoskinson. And now, nearly four decades later, Vicki's family says they will finally feel some sense of justice. Our own Emily Pritchard joining us live from the state prison in Florence, where that execution will take place. Emily, good morning. Good morning, Scott and Emma. Frank Atwood is set to be put to death here at the state prison in Florence, back behind me in just a few hours. Later on this morning, he is set to die by lethal injection as long as a court does not intervene. Now, let's take a look back at this case and the murder of eight-year-old Vicki Lynn Hoskinson of Tucson. He was convicted in 1987 of her kidnapping and murder. Vicki Lynn was kidnapped in 1984 when she was out riding her bike to the mailbox. Her bike was found abandoned and her remains later discovered in the desert. Atwood's attorneys have filed a number of appeals trying to stop today's scheduled execution this week. His lawyers argued the state's death penalty procedures would violate his constitutional right against cruel and unusual punishment by subjecting him to unimaginable pain. They say he would suffer excruciating pain if strapped to a gurney while lying on his back during his lethal injection due to a degenerative spinal condition, which has left him in a wheelchair. A judge denied that claim. Now, they're also pleading to the U.S. Supreme Court, saying that the aggravating factor that makes Atwood eligible for the death penalty was invalidly applied. But no response from the high court this morning. Atwood's lawyers say he maintains his innocence. And as of now, that execution is scheduled to take place at 10 o'clock here in Florence. And later on, coming up in just about a half hour at 530, this is Arizona's second execution in a month since they paused them due to a botched execution years ago. We will take a look back at the legal ups and downs of this case and how we got here today. Reporting live in Florence, Emily Pritchard today in AC.